Hello, I'm the Budget Muddler and this is episode 6 of my Wing Not Wings Sop with Dolphin Build. In today's episode, I will mainly be painting the office, the engine, and putting more parts on the engine. So, without further ado, let's spin up that speedy uppy thing and crack on with a Sop with Dolphin Build. Enjoy. Here I'm using this tool to help me. It's nice and stable and allows me to support my shaky hand with my other hand. And that is one side of the office done. And now to crack on with the other side. As you can see, I've set up the other side, then realized I missed a few bits on the other one. But it's funny how we have a great tool to use, but then we revert to what we are comfortable with, even though that tool is an enormous help. What weird, funny creatures we are. Anyway, let's crack on. And there's that side done. No, there's still more to do. Back in a sec. Now for all the brass bits in the office. So, that's all the office brass done, now for the engine. Well, there wasn't a lot there, was there? Also noticed I was missing some silver parts on the office. And then back onto the silver on the engine. One day, I'm actually going to paint all that I should not miss anything. Anyway, let's crack on. Oops, bit of a misidentification there. That's the office control panel, not the engine. Oh well, luckily I'm not a spotter. Okay, there's just a couple of things here I'm doing. Uh, firstly, I'm just touching up the dial with black 
and then the pump handle with the left hands are yellow. Right, I think that's the office done for painting, but you never know with me. Anyway, time to paint the fuel tank. Gotta say, these guys were just mad. Sitting in an open cockpit, on top of the fuel tank, with next to no defence. Mad. Unbelievably brave, on both sides. You have to tip your hats to these guys. Anyway, let's crack on. So let's get on with some gluing shall we? I'm just going to glue the fuel tank to one side of the office. I found here that I needed to do a bit of clean up on the fuel tank as there were a couple of microns too much paint. So this needed removing. As I've said before, this model's tolerances are so fine that the slightest amount of overspray on the connecting faces can throw the whole model out of sync. It's not the first time I've mentioned it, probably won't be the last. So. Just be careful when you're building a wing nut wings. They are very fine tolerances. There's the fuel tank. Now for the bracing towards the front of the kite. And I'm really sorry about the focus here. I don't know what happened. Apparently there's an app for this. Now to install a pump on the side structure of the office. Don't have a clue what it's called, so this is now Bob the pump. So let's fit him. That's those bits done. Now let's finish off the bits and bobs on the engine. That's the engine done with for the minute. Now I'm just going to crack on and deal with some of the other parts that connect the two halves of the office together, like the office chair and a support, and also some tubing that goes on the engine. So let's get those dealt with. I'm really sorry about the autofocus folks, I'm not sure what the hell's going on here. I think I'm going to have to preset the focus. 
as it's really starting to get on my wick. As you can see here, there is quite a bit of niff naff and shenanigans going on here. It's just all the small stuff that needs doing. That's the last piece on the engine. So, this seems like a good place to end episode 6. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.